Hello there, this is Joseph and welcome back to another QML tutorial. In this uh, tutorial we're going to continue on our dialogues and we're going to look at the color dialog. But before we get too close into the color dialog, I kind of wanted, after doing the dialog series, to put something up on GitHub so you guys can use it. Um, that's up to you uh, if you want to use it or not, but we're just going to do that really, really quickly here. So um, to get started, let's just go into our column right here and let's make a couple buttons. Um, we'll do a couple of them for right now. Let's just make some area. Let's document this also too. Let's say right here, let's say, uh, main area right here we'll give the ID of the window as a root um, and let's make another this one right here we're going to uh, just save as a, a dialog button right and then um, come back to the on clicked here in a second so let's copy this right here and let's go one two three so we got four buttons here this one's going to be message dialog button um, and right here we're going to say open simple dialog open message dialog open font dialog and this one will be F button we don't even really need any IDs on these but whatever um, and then this one will be color dialog um, so open color dialog so let's go ahead and uh, make our color um, our dialogs all again really really quickly so we're gonna keep these mostly stock here but dialog and we will say text oops I'm sorry uh, yeah text and we'll say this is a simple simple dialog and we'll get rid of this ID is uh, we will call this one simple dialog and let's uh, call this uh, t uh, title whoa what happened there okay anyways we'll do title and simple dialog my awesome spelling over here just bear with me through this and we'll say unaccepted uh, this dot close and that's all we're going to do with that one. We're going to keep it simple. And now let's copy this. Whoops. Uh, v, v. And we would say on this one, what we're going to say is message. And it is a message dialog. And we're going to make this one simple by just saying title, text, I am the header. And we will say uh, descript or what is it? Information text. I am under the header details. I am not shown. Wow. Not shown unless user clicks details. Clean this up some. Obviously, on this we do not need the text, or else that would make our own content area. Okay, so now we have our message dialog, so on and so forth. Let's implement our buttons here to make sure that they all work correctly. So, instead of font dialog, we want our simple dialog open, and on this message one, we will say message dialog open and uh, font dialog good 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 now let's uh, say here um, all the way down on these ones except the close so on so forth in our message dialog let's just set the icon really quick icon and the icon is going to be set to information so uh, Q standard whoa standard icon dot information all right so let's go ahead and take a look at all of these on click font message with and open simple open message open font and this one's going to be open color so let's go ahead and run this and see what our application looks like now okay so now what we do is we have this open simple dialog open message dialog open font dialog and then we have a open color dialog for later on um, let's do this let's say 
right here, clean this up some, we're going to say we're going to get going down on the color. Um, so let's do that color, color dialog. ID is color dialog. And just to make sure, let's go up to our button right here. And we will say color dialog open. Now let's put a rectangle right here. call it F for four color dialog. Okay, that's wonderful. And let's uh, set the width of it to be the parent width. And the height. I mean, I don't know. We'll just hard code in for now of 200. Um, and the color we will set Let's set that, to, let's just keep that at white. Let's actually set no color and let's just do a border. Um, border radius, I'm sorry, border color uh, is going to be uh, black. And the border width is going to be one. Um, and let's see here, height width margin. Um, let's see parent width divided by 1.07. And what we will do is say anchors horizontal center parent dot horizontal center. Okay, save run, probably errors, I don't know, let's see here. Okay, so now what we have here is we have this circle, I'm sorry, this uh, rectangle here, we have our font guy right here, um, and we have our open our color dialog. So we get our color dialog, we go over, we select a color, and we press OK. Now, um, we're, as you guys probably expected, we're going to fill in this rectangle right here from the color dialog. Um, so let's do that. Um, we'll go down to four color dialog here and go down to here and we'll say on accepted, we will say for color dialog dot color um, equals, oh my lord, color equals, uh, and we will say this dot color. And we go over here and we click on this. We, let's go over here to this red and press OK. And there it goes. Um, we'll change it again down here. We'll move it to that color. And there it goes, changing it again. Uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, no, there's one other thing. So um, we can set an alpha channel. Um, so we can, I think it's like alpha, what is it? Something alpha, God. Set alpha channel on or something like that. Um, so uh, let's see here. It's I can't remember what it is. Go over to our thing, one down, and show alpha channel. That's what it is. So we will hit show alpha channel, and we will set that to true. Um, and now when we run and we open up our color dialog over here, we'll see that we now have this so we can set the alpha ratio. So let's bring it over to blue and bring it down to about this color right about there. Press the OK button and as you can see right there. Um, now we could make that even uh, further by setting another rectangle below it, but I don't think that's much important here. I think what's important is is getting through these uh, dialogues here, and there we go. Um, well, I'm Joseph. This has been the color dialogue, um, and this needs to be changed on the root window. We could probably do that on clicked for each one of these buttons. When you click it, it becomes you know a simple example, message example, font example, so on and so forth. But for right now, what we're going to do is we're just going to call it dialog example. And that is that for this tutorial. Um, again, what we did. Yep.